Hey audience, we're back. We're going surfing. Hi, little fisher person. What do you have to tell me? I got a big hole. Want to go for it? Is that a pickup line? I think. I mean, we've made the joke already for various other trainers, but I think this is actually the guy with the six magic. It's the six magic carp guy for this game. Yeah, see, look, he's got a magic carp. Yep. And this is where we just sit here and laugh and cry. A uh, little bit. Yeah. That always got some Gyarados is coming up next. Let's see. Uh, nope, Magikarp. <laughs> I love the Magikarp guy for each game because they they've always put them in interesting places. Like in in Platinum, he's actually before the second gym, which is really surprising because all his Magikarps are still garbage XP wise. But you didn't expect a Magikarp guy. Just randomly after you leave the forest, just fishing there, you're like, oh, I'll talk to him. Six Pokemon. You're like, oh, crap. Then it's Magikarp, Magikarp, Magikarp. And sometimes I like to spice it up by making the Magikarp guy have a Gyarados. Well, Kamen is just X gonna give it to a bunch of fish. X gonna give it to you. X gonna give it to you. Oh, God, they're all over 27. We're not even seeing Kamina's XP bar go from all this. Oh my goodness. Poor Kamina, these are not worth... Oh, there we go. There we go. That was so little. Oh, Magikarp, why are you so worthless? Hmm. So, Jim, uh, I think we should also just, you know, hunt down and kill each of the legendary birds before we go do the Elite. Um, four and stuff. Not only just because, just don't make. Them. <laughs> Even references the fact that they're worthless. Just, Great. Just, just because they're worth XP for us, and they're in decent areas for just doing a light bit of grinding. I wonder if we can just. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. That guy just stared at us. Did you? What? Okay, let's just talk to him normally then, I guess. Let's see, do we have any potions? It's there? because they're dead inside. Uh, we just have a hyper potion, we'll just use that. Come on, I hear you, buddy. There we go. Oh, I like the book. The Pokemon does a little cry of happiness when you heal it. You want to know if the fish are biting? No, no we don't. We already caught a Pokemon for this route. And... So we can't catch anything else. Also, we have a nice little Tangela now. So if we ever need a grass type, we're good. And it's a Sea King. Uh, and it's only level 28. Did they expect us to come back to Pallet Town and then surf down here already? Also, oh god, that's going to... Wow. I guess that 11 level difference really makes up for the high damage that Flail should have done. Hey, wow. That Sea King was worth way more than those Magikarps. That Sea King was worth basically... Rest in pieces. That Sea King was worth basically nine Magikarps. That, that's kind of sad. One Sea King was worth nine Magikarps. Well, I like, I like doing these victory laps after we've beaten a gym leader. And another Seeking. Uh, quick attack this time. Let's see how much the quick attack does by itself. I don't think that's enough to knock it out with the next quick attack, and I don't want to risk it having one HP and flailing. Well, there we go. Okay, and coming up finally hits 40, so now the entire party's 40 plus. Ooh, plus 4 speed and HP. Nice. I, I'm gonna admit, Jim, I may use our six rare candies just to get Felicia once she hits like 49 area, all the way up to 55 to be a Dragonite. A. And Supersonic, of course. Uh, quick attack, come on, Kamina. Come on, ignore the confusion, Kamina. X gonna give it to you! X gonna give it to you. Also, some Rios Pokemon are all in their 40s, but Daji just... That use of confusion, man. That confusion saved us so much in the problems department. 
And hey, there's another double battle. Who do you want to use in this double battle, Chip? As we go further down this waterway. Shrug. Do we want to use Daji, Idubs, Yolk? Who were we teaming up with Kamina? Probably Yolk. Yeah, probably Yolk, because they're not going to get any love once we get to um, the actual gym, because it's a fire gym. And Herbert's going to get plenty of XP there and on Giovanni's gym, because ground and fire. Get enough. <laughs> My sis doesn't get enough exercise, so we made her go. Okay, that that's brilliant. To be fair. I mean, he's helping his sister, so there is that. Also, that is a pretty good team of water types. A water psychic and Cedra, who's a pure water type. That's actually... But okay, uh... We'll... Ring attack the Starmie and psychic the Cedra. I don't think the wing attack will be enough. It was not. It was a half hit. Okay, a little bit over a half hit actually, that's good. Uh, Yolk Psychic will kill the Seedra probably. I'll knock it out. Uh, so, Jib, what do you think uh, about PTU overall? Since we're just sitting here doing this, going through this route, I think we should talk about PTU for a bit. And PTA. I mean, I like it. What's well, more to say, you know? Fair enough. I mean, there's all the other things. Like, what do you feel about like, the shiny idea? I think the shiny system is an interesting one, though I think that there's no hard rules for it. It can be problematic at times. I mean, it depends on, like, the GM or player, you know, how much they just go into it, you know? Exactly, I think that's part of it. Okay, ooh. Let's see, so that guy's right over there, so let's go beat him up. Go, Herbert! We ride you in a battle! Dunk. Dunk. The sea cleanses my body and soul. Actually, no, the sea is shredding your body with salt fibers at this very moment. Yep. Something like that. And more. Uh, fly. What's it gonna do? Wow, Lear. Really? You're a special attacker. Actually, I think this is even in a generation where Seedra doesn't have anything that is a physical attack. Maybe Quick Attack? Ooh, wow. Do you have Quick Attack or something? Doesn't matter, because you weren't faster than me. Okay, wow. But I guess that makes sense. Wow, uh, hello, tentacles, jellyfish. Hmm. I've always wondered how many people thought Tentacruel was a octopus, not a jellyfish. Eh. Well, I mean, because people are weird like that. I was one of those. Yeah. Because, I mean, I was like, oh, it's a jellyfish. And then someone was like, no, it's, a, it's an octopus. And I went, no. It's a jellyfish. That's why it's inedible. Yeah, it took a while for me to understand that, oh, it's a jellyfish, you know? Yeah. I mean, this part of it, you know, us being kids and stuff. Okay, uh... Okay. I always thought it was water electricity. I don't get that. No, as a kid, because in the show, it seemed to, like, shock people with its tendrils. Oh, stupid. Oh, because the fact that the people froze up or something. Because they were shocked. Oh, good. The shelter's got protect. Okay, will protect work this time? He's going to use protect again. What? what? I just missed? I just missed. Kamina just missed. Just hit it with a wing attack. That was a 55% accuracy. Fly missed. It doesn't, you know what? No, just, 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 just get in there, I doves. Okay. 
Get some XP for yourself, buddy. Oh, Aurora Beam, that's gonna hurt. Oh my good gravy in a nut basket. Mother in the Saint Bernard. Just everything with this dang shelter. Ah, oh, bloody shelters. You think it's gonna be easy and fun, and then it's like, nope, it has protect. Curses! Yeah. I'm gonna go to Herbert. It's gonna use an ice move, and I want it to be neutral. Oh no, it is protect. Bite it, Herbert. Bite it. There we go. Now, Herbert. Surf. Hmm, I hate Protect so much on NPC trainers. Protect is so useful, though. Uh, that's why the meta just adores Protect as a move. Well, Claude, we beat you. You're, you're frustrated because you're not catching anything? Well, Claude, your lure is a Pokeball. I hate to tell you this, but Pokemon can identify Pokeballs. They're smarter than that. Sir? Keep me company till I get a hit. Uh... Are you propositioning us or asking us on a date? Because that's what it sounds like in all honesty. Sit here with me while I try and catch fish. How long? Until I catch one. That could be a... I think you're trying to seduce me. And we have super sonic. Go, Yolk. Get in there. Take it out. Mm. Hey, they hit twice. Yay. Maybe they are trying to seduce us. We don't know. Maybe everyone in this game is trying to hit on us. Maybe our mom is secretly rich because something. Maybe, she, you know, Oak invented the Pokedex, but she's getting the alimony money for it. We don't have a dad, after all. It would also explain a lot of things why Oak likes us over his grandson. You know, there's so many theories out there. Uh, there was even the theory that Giovanni was Ash's father. Did you ever hear that one, Jib? I have, and to be fair, it kind of makes sense a little bit. In a way. In, in a way. Anyways, let's go down here and... Oh, hey! Just another sandbar. Another sandbar. Nothing on it. Oh, two swimmers, though. Uh, common as you do. What's here? Two. Two. Yeah, okay. Two. Herbits. My dogs. Uh, we'll just use another hyper potion to get you back up. Common, just so you're fully healed. Okay. okay. Let's Oops. Okay, we got this. This entire route's gonna be its own episode as we clear it of all its trainers. Yeah, I caught more Pokemon at sea. Really? You're wow. a swimmer and you use water Pokemon. Do tell. How does it feel to be in the lowest class of person that you have to go out with a net and catch a Pokemon? The most but they feel pretty great. The most surplus of Pokemon types, water, and you own one of them. Aren't you proud of yourself? Don't you feel good about yourself on the inside? Like you've accomplished something, like you're worth something. Well, I hate to tell you, sir, but you're worth nothing. Because you have a star me that knows rapid spin. And you're just going to keep spamming recovery. But the good news is, I'm just going to use quick attack. Look at that. Stupendous. 
Now then, wing attack again. And there we go. It was a critical hit, so it wouldn't have mattered had you actually used recover last turn. Just spectacular. Also, Starmie is worth so much XP. Mmm, that was good. 820 to us and our Dragonair. But yeah, water types are the most common. Actually, maybe this is normal. Ah, uh, feel the sun blink. It's even normal or water. There are a lot of water types. And they always get more each generation. Because there always needs to be a lot of water. In the Capoli world. You, who's wing attack? I love it, the game's like, hey, he missed. He tried to slap a bird. Okay, wow. He's getting really close. Okay, uh, what's his next Pokemon? What's his next... Uh, okay, a tentacle. Uh, we'll just quick attack it, because that should do a lot. I did not expect that to Oko. That, that, that really hurt, I guess. And Poison Point, of course. Ooh, Twister. Okay, I can't use Fly because it has Twister, which does double damage when you use Fly. Oh, this Seedra. This Seedra just won't die. There, it's dead. We win. Let's get out of here. Wow, that seizure just burned through so much good items. Roland. Oh, I lost. Bye, Roland. We beat you. I think we're really close to town, though. So we'll just swap Kamina to take places with Yolk. Come on, come on, I want to see this happen. Yes. Hops on. <laughs> He's just waiting there right next to the sandbar for us to jump onto our Blastoids. Watches and waits. <laughs> Wait, are you part of that same triathlon meet where there's the biker from like 20 parts ago that was sitting there on the thing like, I'm in a triathlon meet. Because if you are, dude, you're... Shouldn't you be with the other people like way over there for the biking portion, not this... Just, okay, whatever. Do what you want with your life, because whatever you want, because a pirate is free, you are a pirate. And, oh, he's got a war turtle. Here's the war turtle that you fight. Protect this turn, or I don't know. Well, actually, no. It would still say protect failed otherwise. Wow, that was. I hate protect sometimes. Jim. Pant, pant, pant. Well, he's tired. Let's. Uh, I'm beat, but I still he's have tired. the bike race and marathon left. So you're on the first part of a triathlon, and you're already exhausted. And here we made it to town already. He is a failure as a human being. Yeah, so Blaine's lived on this island before the lab. The door is locked. Yeah, so that's the big thing is the door is locked. Which is why we have to go into the lab. Uh, anyways, we're going to go in here. Heal our Pokemon. Welcome to the book. He's not a failure. He cloned Mew. As we're going to find out in another part or two, because I don't know how long the mansion will take, because the mansion sucks. So much poison. Rave. Well, the mansion is just a lot of poison types and dittos. The gym leader's friend used to live there, they say. What do you gotta say? Oh, 
All right, hey Jim, you know what we can do now? What? Scientists conduct experiments in the burned out building. You know, the one they call the Pokemon Mansion. But what about the Pokemon Lab? Did they conduct experiments there? Well, yes, they do too, young sir. What? Yes, but that's crazy talk. We study Pokemon extensively every day. People often bring us for Pokemon for examination. Oh, hey, I want to I go look at this image though first up. What are the last rounder? Dr. Fuji? <laughs> I love that. Your kid, your kid character is like, holy mother of... It's Dr. Fuji. Also, what's this guy going to say? Hello, there. Do you have an ever right to? Would you like to treat you for my electro? No. No. Why would anyone ever trade a right to for an electro? Right to is so much better. Also, this is the guy that I think the weirdo that fought us earlier in the game for the fossil. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, this guy... Oh, this girl gives us a tangle of we don't have one already. But we don't need it, and we want to keep our Venom out in case Venom dies. And what do these people got to say? Teach it to a phone and watch them. No, called Metronome. No. Thanks for the idea, though. Metronome is fun. Okay, uh, what's this guy got to say? Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon. Five kinds once, if we keep on going at this point, never evolve our Eevee. Because we'll be able to evolve into Umbreon or Espeon. Also, somewhere in here is the guy that... I'm looking for the Pokemon Ponyta. Want to trade with one of my seal? Oh, we could have got a Ponyta. I forgot. But we couldn't. I'm part of the universe. I'm Pokemon Puzzle all the time. I said... Huh, are you a fossil? Dome fossil. Oh, this is the rare dome fossil. It is a fossil of a Kabuto, a Pokemon that is already extinct. My resurrection machine will make that Pokemon live again. Yes. So you hurry and give me that. I'm um, handing over the dome fossil to the weird doctor. I take a little time. You go for a walk a little while. It's weird. Yeah, basically you have to leave the lab, and then when you come back, uh, the dome fossil is resurrected. And with that said and done, we're gonna go to the Pokemart, stock up with some more potions and heals and stuff just to be ready. Cause I don't want to have to constantly come back. But also, we're gonna go do. Uh, we're gonna get some more Ultra Balls too, just so we're uh, stocked up. We'll go for full 10. Because now we have. Buy eight more. And wow, we have so much money. Uh. Uh, yeah, 11 Hyper Potions should be enough. Here you are. There we go. And we'll buy... How many full heals? Just to be safe, we'll buy a full... A hundred. I was debating between 7 or 12, but I decided to go with 12. A hundred. No, not a hundred. Let's actually talk to uh, these people as well. Let's see, what do you have to say? Ah, it never hurts to have extra items. You never know what might happen. So basically this, for people that are very Japanese, this reminds them of the classic, you know, general store where there's food items, magazines, books, all sorts of things and things that are specifically behind that's, the counter that you have to cash in. That's not just, uh, that, that's everywhere, V. Oh yeah, I know, but I'm saying it's, you know, there's also all sorts of general stores over the place, but it's designed in a very Japanese manner. You know, and I was saying this because I was going to the next part, which is the fact that a lot of uh, people I know wouldn't recognize it that way because um, depending on where you are in America, the closest equivalent to a general store would be sometimes, you know, a, well, gas station uh, store, which is still in a way a general store, though. And I just wanted to note that because I thought it's interesting because it depends on the region you grew up in, etc. Hmm. Because me and you both grew up in regions where the idea of a general store makes sense. And uh, down here in NC, uh, not so much anymore. Uh, anyways, we're going to head over to this route next, and then, and then we're going to come back here, and we're going to go to this, the Pokemon Mansion. The fiery town of burning desire. What was this say? The hot-headed quiz master. Okay. Till next time, audience.
Bye-bye.